Welcome to the popular program of Christ Apostolic Church of God Mission Worldwide, featuring your host, Apostle Dr. Godpa Ogbawa, JP, preacher, counselor, teacher of the word, accompanied with anointed ministration to set captives free. Welcome to the undiluted evangelical message of comfort, which has been a blessing to the many. This is the triumphant half hour. I want to use this time to invite you to worship with us on Sunday and any other day of the week in our branches around the world. You will have an opportunity to hear the word of God that will change your life forever. Today, you need God in your life. We minister to the sick, we minister to those who need the baptism of the Holy Spirit, and we minister to those who need salvation. Take advantage of what God wants to do in your life, and your life will never be the same. God bless you. Welcome to Triumphant Half Hour Program. Please stay tuned and be blessed. Wherever you are, wave your hand and shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I'm talking on acceptable thanksgiving that attract blessing. We all come in here to thank God. God has done so much in our lives. Every student goes to the hall to do exam. And they are going there because they want to pass. And but there are certain things they must do if they are going to pass the exam. in the Christian circle. Whenever you go to God, you want to do anything, there are principles that control whatsoever you are doing. If you do it in God's way, in joy and with all your heart, blessing must follow you home. I say blessing must follow you. There's nothing you do for the Lord. There is nothing you do for the Lord that will never attract blessing. If your children serve you faithfully, you'll be thinking of what to do to make your children happy. For 2022, God is going to meet the desire of your heart. Your coming here is going to attract God's blessing. Because God is not a God that will just look on, look on things that you are doing without rewarding you. Everything you do in life has reward. I want that to be in your heart. Anything you are doing has reward. Either good or bad. But if it is good, People will glorify God through your life. And God himself will bless you. If it is bad, people will reproach God through your name. And to yourself, you equally will get your reward. But my prayer, is that your thanksgiving today will be with great reward. 
I expect to hear a louder amen. amen. So if you want to give the thanksgiving that we receive blessing from God, I want to talk three important areas that you must talk. Number one, Proverbs 23, 26 says, My son, give me your heart and let your eye observe my way. When you are going to God in thanksgiving, the first thing God look at is your life. Your life first to God. Give me your life first. To everybody here today, the first thing God needs from you is your whole life. Your life is more valuable than whatsoever you have. If your life is right with God, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. If your life is right with God, your way will be right with God. And your life will be a blessing to other people. But if your life is not right with God, everything you will do will not attract blessing. But I pray that your life will be right with God this morning. That you will give your life to Jesus. Give your life to God first. Two people came to give offering to God. One name came. The other, Abel. They offered unto God. One was accepted. The other wasn't accepted. And at the end, God told the man whose own was not accepted. Say, if your life, your sacrifice wasn't accepted because your heart was not good before God. So the first thing God needs from you this morning, before you go into 2023, give your life to God. If you have not given your life to God before, you can give your life to God today and say, Lord, I offer my life to you. Right from this time, only you I will serve. Only you I will serve. Jehovah Jireh, only you I will serve. I have no other God. By the time you take that decision, God begin to set your life on the path of blessing. If your way is not right with God, then your life cannot be right with God. So this is the first thing you must give that is acceptable unto God. Can you say amen to that? The number two, your appreciation and thanksgiving. That's it. That you know that God has done something for you. Some people are here today because it is a month that you must be here. But there are people who are here today. They are full with appreciation. 
gratitude in their heart. Why? Is it because they have made so much money? Is it because they have added more houses? It is, because, is it because they have got more children? No! They know one thing. When there is life, there is hope. That God has given you life. If you have life, you can accomplish all other things. And only the living can praise God. Those who died yesterday cannot praise God tomorrow. We would need to appreciate God. God wants you to come with appreciation in your heart. With gladness. With singing. You value what God has done in your life. If you value what God has done in your life, lift your hand and shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I value what God has done in my life. I have not added more car. I have not added more, more, more building. But I'm son. I'm heavy. God blesses upon my life. I have peace in my heart. Nobody knock on my door and I begin to run behind. Because I know I have peace in the Lord. And if you have peace in the Lord, and you have joy in the Lord, that becomes your strength. Because the joy of the Lord is our strength. Hallelujah. And the third thing I want to talk about is your goodness. Goodness. As long as you do this unto these of this list of my brethren, you have done it unto me. You give your life. You give your appreciation. Give your goodness. How is your life touching people? There are people who are turned to other people. No. 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 It's all on the Duke Balama. Oh, one year you're for a believer. A one a beggar, a honey and left Guaruda, or a rebogare, and a rebogare. Only a swimming or south, what do we know? It's your life touching other people for good. You know what the Bible said? Let your light so shine before men. You can come here and dance and jump and do other things, but God is looking at your life. Your goodness. The light that is shining through your life. If you cannot give too much money, but your life is touching other people for good, how is God going to bless all of us here? He's going to bless people through me and through you. If I say, God bless me, who is God going to use? Man. So if you give your goodness to God, God return unto you blessing. Many go to church only to carry the Bible. Many go to church only to sing. 
but their life in the secret is not showing that they are true Christians. Your life, your goodness, the way your life is touching other people, when you stand before God, whatsoever you are giving, God will say in heaven, look at that, my daughter. Look at that, my son. His life or her life is blessing people around And as long as you do it to one of the least of these, my brethren, he has done it unto me. These three things attract God's blessing. You can never come to God and go back the same. Your life, your life, your thanksgiving and appreciation, and the light of your life. The demonstration of your goodness. These are things that attract God's blessing. I want to challenge you as we are going to round up. If you have not given your life to Jesus, and you are here today, the first thing you have to do, if you know you have never accepted Jesus, as your Lord and Savior, as we close our eyes, just move, move forward here. We want to lead you to give your life to Jesus. All other things can follow. If you cannot give your life, you cannot give what you have. Close your eyes as we are going to pray. Are you here this morning? You want to give your life to Jesus? Just move out and come to the altar here. You want to say from this time to 2023, I want to give my life to Jesus. Bow your head as we pray. While I'm praying, just move forward.
with us on Sunday and any other day of the week in our branches around the world. You will have an opportunity to hear the word of God that will change your life forever. Today you need God in your life. We minister to the sick, we minister to those who need the baptism of the Holy Spirit, and we minister to those who need salvation. Take advantage of what God wants to do in your life, and your life will never be the same. God bless you.